And live from the streets, man, it's your host, d Rug, a.k.a. the ball head. Da, 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 da. Y'all already know, man. Live from the streets, man. Look, I got a big guest right now, man. I'm talking about my guest so big right now. My daughter called me at <laughs> 7 o'clock in the morning just to ask me, is it true that we was going to have her on the show? Matter of fact, she don't need no introduction. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Time in the Body, a.k.a. DTV. <laughs> So, how you doing? Welcome to Orlando, by the way. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, we're going to get straight into the music before we get into all the other shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? The shit everybody want to know. But <laughs> I want to focus on the, move, the music first. So, you know what I'm saying? So, um, how long you been rapping? Like, what limit age you want to start rapping? Um, okay, so I've been rapping like seven years. Okay. Almost about to be eight now. Okay. And um, I feel like when I first started rapping, what made me want to start rapping, it was before the female rapper wave okay. started. So at that time, I was like, there is no yeah. female like music. Just the Nicki Minaj at the time. Right. Yeah. She was, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, right. And, you know, I was working in the clubs. So I'm dancing and I'm listening to all this music. I'm listening to these men. Like, oh, yeah, I love these bitches. And all this yeah. stuff. Like, where is, you know what I'm saying? Like, really and truly, I was more like, where's like that Trina vibe? Like, you know, I grew up on Trina, Kaya, Jack Hill, that type of shit. So I'm Any influences, anything besides Trina? Like, what made you want to just write down your first rap? Um, yeah, it was really, it was really just like I said, I was in the club and I'm listening to these songs and I'm just like, they're, I'm over here dancing and rapping these lyrics, they're disrespecting me. <laughs> so, no, I want to talk about that. Yeah, like, no, fuck y'all. Yeah, like, fuck y'all. So, that's what really made me um, want to write. It was a song. I, my first song was like a remix to Weatherman um, with Kodak Black. Yeah. And who was it? It was on that Weatherman song. I think it was Kodak and somebody. Yeah, but either way, okay, let me tell you who made me really, really wanted to, to, to rap. It was the Migos. Because okay. they had the song and it was called She Don't Want to Be a Freak No More. She Don't Want to Be a Freak No More. She Don't Want to Be a Freak No More. Mm, she a stripper of things. But I'm like. Felt like they were talking to you. Yeah, I was offended. <laughs> I was like, hold on, wait a minute. It don't make sense. We all dancing, just singing a song. Like, he disrespected me in my job. So, you know what? Fuck you. Matter of fact, I got a disc coming for your ass. Uh, Without for him specifically, but just for men in general. Okay. Okay. I'll talk to y'all shit about us. I'm going to talk my shit about y'all. All right. All right. All right. And so that's what led to baddies and how, like how did that well, how did that come along that was seven years later <laughs> that so seven years like, you was already putting out the music yeah, so the music I've is the working, first thing I've been, yeah i've been working for seven years um i moved to la i lived there for like three four years i moved to houston like the whole time I, you know i've been doing different stuff in between i owned a strip club mm -hmm. But every time I did anything else, it's like I always just came back to music. Mm -hmm. I always came back. And not just music, just entertainment in general. Mm -hmm. I just love to be in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. But I do love music. Okay. So okay. basically, the reality thing came. You know, I know it's a stepping stone. I know yeah. it's a big platform. So it's like a lot of people go on the reality shows and then they start making music. Mm -hmm. It's like I already make music, so why not go on this platform so everybody can just hear my music? So, and this is a big thing because you know I'm a little older now, you know, mm -hmm. and I see this is a lot with a lot of girls that was working in the club. Um, mm -hmm. But since Cardi B, you know, then it, it became a explosion, you know what I'm saying? So like I be wanting to know like like how serious was y'all before the explosion? Okay, so in the beginning, like before the Cardi B, before the explosion, I wasn't like I didn't know like what too much was possible mm -hmm. because, you know, like we said, it was only Nikki. Yeah. So when the explosion happened, it was kind of like a good thing and bad thing for me because I was like, well, I wanted to get in so I could just, you know, be that voice. But I'm like, well, shit, everybody else was like, fuck it, y'all got it. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to hear some shit. And now I can hear it, so y'all good. So I wanted to actually quit for a while. I'm like, okay, they, they did what I was yeah. thinking of doing. But then it was like, well, if they could do it, then why I can't do it? Straight up. You get it? So it was like a positive.
possibilities. Like, damn, shit, what's going yeah, on? Why the fuck? Let would me step I into this lane. Yeah, like, not step into it because I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let me, you know, keep. Uh, keep grinding, keep hustling, because yeah. if this person could make it this big and do this, and all these females coming up, like, why the fuck can I? Yeah, <laughs> you got a point. So, tell me about this single you got out right now. Which one are you pushing right okay, now? Okay, so right now, I'm pushing all my songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I say one specific song, um, right now, I will say my top, one of my top songs right now is called Miami. So that's my number one song right now. Um, uh, bills, check, what you want. Um, yeah, all of that. Just down in the body. Just listen to all the songs. You got an album coming out? Or? I have three albums already out. Really? Three EPs. Okay. Yeah. So my song? thing is, I don't want to like just push. Like even when I release songs, I don't mm-hmm. just release one song. Yeah. I release three. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. okay, I'm gonna give y'all three, y'all pick which one y'all yeah, like. Let it fly, yeah. Yeah. I realize like doing one and sticking with one yeah. and promoting one, it's like, you know, some people like it, some people yeah. not. So let me just give a variety and then everybody just choose what they like. Okay. And then even going on this platform for a lot of people that didn't know me before, it's like even though the music be old to me, it's all new to them. Like, oh, I love your new song. I'm like, I released that five years ago. <laughs> I mean, it be like that, though. It you do. Know what I'm it be like I love that. it. I love it. I'm happy. I love it. I'm glad that people are getting to hear my music. That was, like, just my main purpose of everything. Like, I, this is what I did it all for. For the music. All right, so um, we're going to show one of your videos and get back to this interview, man. Um, I see you don't went viral a couple motherfucking times. Couple times now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the first the first time I, I actually seen you is the one when you was uh saying there's certain type of dudes you can't date, uh, date, uh, what, what, like, what is how is that like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, so <laughs> that's like one of the main ones. Everybody's like, man, you gotta ask her, bro. Like, okay, I know a lot of people are really upset with me, yeah. Um, and I just, you know. I, it's like, I know that, uh, I feel like people don't be looking at the bigger picture sometimes mm. when I speak, you know, and yeah, I might be saying like, okay, you, I don't want to, first of all, I don't, I really don't think no grown person should be working at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> I just don't, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And even if I understand sometimes it's a stepping stone, I understand yeah. sometimes, you know, you might just got out of prison or whatever, you got to get yeah. back on your feet, but... I don't think that should be a long-term career for you. If you're 45 years old, like I don't think you should be literally like being there for two, three, four, five years. And even if you are, at least have a plan to say like this is what I'm working towards. Yeah, like yeah. I'm trying to start a business. I'm trying to, you know, I'm in school trying to get this, and I, this is just my yeah. side hustle. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But for you to really have a career as a burger flipper in your 40s, 30s, I just I don't think that. I, you know, it's not really a nice way to say it, but I just don't. So it's no, that. it's no restaurant workers, it's no retail. Like I can't, I can't say you know draws. I can't say you know dresses or that like that. I mean, me personally, I don't want to date nobody that makes less than really a hundred, one fifty. Oh shit! So you looking for that high value man? Yeah, but also because I, I make that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want you know. I just, I, I don't want it to be a conflict of interest. That's what it is. <laughs> that's really a good way to put it, though. Yeah. You know, that's, that's a good way to put it. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Yeah, it's a conflict of interest. I mean, shit. When you make more, it's, it's, I feel like when a woman makes more than a man, it's always uh, some sort of, like, just the relationship, you know? Because the man don't be feeling like a man. The woman be feeling like a man. She feels like she can tell you what to do. I'll tell you, you don't pay my bills. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's just way easier, the way smoother. If you just the man and you make the money, the bitch is going to shut up. Yeah, straight up, straight up. Can't get mad at that. You know, yeah, that's yeah, tell me what to do, baby. Just, okay, shut up. Just got to step your game up, fellas. Step your game up. That's, that's it. it. I feel I like... Just, I recently quit my, my fast food job, so you know, <laughs> gotta you gotta start somewhere. You gotta you know start saying? somewhere, but definitely always have a plan. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let that be the end goal, the end game. Don't get stuck there. Right. Like, have that. Like, you know, listen to me and be like, yeah, this bitch, fuck this bitch, but she right. You know what? Let me get the fuck out. I ain't gonna even front. I really thought you were gonna cuss me out when I asked that question. No. Like she is so nice. I don't like. I'm, 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 I'm like. I'm, I'm very surprised. <laughs> so. No, man. 
All right, so another time you went viral. We got to talk Get about the, here, huh? We got to talk about the 2000 bodies. Like what the fuck? Like is that a like is that a real thing or are you just capping or what? Okay, so basically it's like more that's really a whole ass career. Motherfucking sex workers everywhere. No, cuz you know why I respect that cuz I was I was watching you on the Tasha K show mm -hmm. and you was basically breaking it down about how I look at it cuz I'm like, look, you gonna meet a chick, you gonna take out, you gonna bullshit her around for two or three weeks, however long it is to take to get the pussy, you gonna spend all kind of money with her. I would rather wanna meet a woman that just won't, what you want, the 2000, or you know what I mean? Like, let's, let's, let's get it over with. Because what a lot of people do what's fucked up, why I feel like men, they try to, you know, they manipulating you into thinking that they like you, and now, I like you, and you don't really like yeah. me. Now you fuck me, and now I'm crazy, and I'm busting <laughs> your car windows out, and I'm trying to do this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When we could have just kept it for a minute, like, it, they, what you want? Hell, hair? I'm out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody's happy. Everybody got what they want. Motherfuckers just go about their life. That's I true. feel like it's actually wrong to, like, lead women on and not really want nothing from them. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. But, <clears throat> yeah, I've been a stripper for 80% of my life, so I am. Uh, you know, I'm for that work. A lot of people don't like to acknowledge it and act like it's not real or it's not there. Only fans is real. Porn is real. Definitely. Prostitution is real. Like, motherfuckers out here getting money. They get paid, you feel me? I'm, I, I'm an advocate for that. So, yeah. I'm so, never going to act, try to be like, oh, I didn't do that. Yo, I be fucking. <laughs> so, a regular, a regular dude can walk up to you in the club and Say you got the bread for you, it is it's with whatever. Or so me personally, things. there's different type of hoes. Okay. Okay. Me personally, I'm a picky. Like I'm a very picky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't just be fucking anybody. Like yeah. for me, it's like it gotta be like it gotta be like a vibe. It gotta be like a swag. You gotta have like I'm very picky when it comes to my my clients. Okay. okay? I don't just fuck with any random person. Anybody can just say. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they got to save enough for you. You get know what I'm saying? No, like, I'm looking, like, my clientele is very much, you know, high value. Like, you know, got to be a nigga. You know what I'm saying? But that's not all whole. Every whole, every whole, whole differently. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some bitches that really, bitch, any nigga come up and be like, hey, how much you want? And they going. You know what I'm saying? It's no tea, no shade to them. Shout out to them. But me personally, like, I'm looking certain caliber of man. Okay. Football players, basketball players, right. rappers, you know, scammers, rich, all scammers, that. Uh, all that. So you basically got to be fly, you got to be good at what you, you don't do. Don't feel me, you know, like, you got to be that nigga. Then you can come get me, but just like anybody, I don't just go anywhere. T5 is. It is what it is. Oh, oh man, so that shit cut though like that? It is. But I, I mean, they still have like rules and, and regulations. Okay, so, so like, like, like what's the rules? in order to fight, both parties do have to agree. Okay. So like, if I was like, oh, yeah. I don't want her, I don't want to fight, fight her, they they're not gonna just let her attack. Okay. Her. Or there's no like jumping. Yeah, there's yeah. no like you know certain yeah. etiquette they have for the fights. But if both parties agree. Oh wow! That's so and I know it. Time goes so like, what it do? You you, you get you get into some beef with somebody and you just straight up tell the bitch like, I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> how did like, y'all how, how like? How did y'all like like professionally do that? Okay, like, so my thing is with you know what they understand is that when it comes to women, you know women are naturally gonna you know after a while begin to rail somebody. It's gonna be caddies, you know. Then there's liquor. It's like. They know something gonna come up. Oh, definitely with the liquor. You know what I'm saying? Drinking that Casamigos. Exactly, but even if you like, just being around a bunch of women, like situations are gonna come up, and they know that. So they give us a bunch of liquor, and they're like, "Hey, y'all, just hang out." Yeah. And this <laughs> shit and this is happening. going down. Yeah, yeah it's like, I'm just gonna record. Yeah, go ahead. So yeah, you know, and at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of people um, don't really understand that it's all just entertainment. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't take it too serious. It is reality TV. But it's still for your entertainment. We're here, like just like they pay Floyd Mayweather and whoever to get in the ring. These people don't yeah. really hate each other. Yeah, they just, don't, you know. They just entertain it. Yeah, they gonna start it. arguing. They gonna talk about each other's baby yeah. problems and whatever. They gonna get the fight hype. They gonna beat each other up. And at the end of the day, they 
be cool, you know. Oh, so y'all, so you and the girl that was fighting y'all cool, or y'all had real beef, like how? I mean, every situation is different. It okay. really just depends on how serious the situation gets, or you know what transpires after the situation. Some girls do make up afterwards. Sometimes it's like you know we just had to get at our heart chest, yeah. and you know yeah, you actually a cool person. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes it's like, bitch, I don't like you, yeah, bitch, I will never like yeah. you. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Every time I see you, it's on site. Okay. So with me and the girl, I can't really too much speak on the situation because all the episodes haven't been okay. out yet. But twins and I experience it every Sunday. Alright, and what, what episode y'all on now? Because I know y'all that's what my daughter say. I tune in every Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's gonna be episode five. Okay. Yeah, so we just had the this bonfire beach scene and Tommy, you know Tommy? Yeah, 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 yeah. From, uh, Crazy one. Yeah, she was from Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, okay. She just rode in on a white horse. Oh wow. Well, that's that's what I want to ask you about. How is Natalie, man? Oh, she's so fine to me. I you know her. what? Natalie is actually a nice person. I can say that. Like, from what I saw on TV, what I thought she was going to be yeah. like, she was actually a lot nicer than, okay. she, than she. That's what I mean with a lot, a lot of y'all girls, though. Like, that persona they have for the TV, but when right. you meet y'all, y'all be so cool. But like, then, you know what's crazy? It'd be the ones that you think is so going to be so cool. Then you meet them, and they be a fucking asshole. Yeah, yeah. And then what do you think gonna be stuck up? It'll be the ones that's cool as fuck. Well. Yeah, I thought you was gonna be these. So yeah, it's, it's, it's weird when you meet people on camera because like however they portray themselves on a TV, it's like you kind of feel like you know people. Yeah. Because it's like you're watching them, but they 